Right, second video on the 16th of January 2021. I've come away from the wall because I heard, first of all, just a gentle bark of a dog. Then the bark of a more fierce one. Somebody coming along now with a dog. Right, I read in the paper on Saturday that last week a 20 year old woman was savaged by a pack of dogs. She was a professional dog walker and she'd probably done this walk loads of times. Seven dogs. What happened was um, What happened was she, um, one dog, a bigger, the biggest one of the pack, what she was looking after, decided to attack a dog from a person walking by. Now all the rest of the dogs were quite small, including dash hounds, by the way. They actually got very big gnashes. Anyway, what happened was, she, uh, The dogs went, went into a frenzy and um, they just went totally wild and because she had them on leads they were running about and in the end she couldn't move because they'd run round her with the leads like on a maypole she couldn't move and she was screaming for people to go away because the dogs were going crazy and she couldn't do nothing and she died. They killed her. A woman on a horse was also, her horse bolted, she was left lying, got thrown off and the horse bolted. Um, the woman whose dog had attacked, was, had been attacked, ran off with her dog because she didn't know what to do. And so the woman, they all turned on the woman who was walking them. And then people are saying that apparently you have to, to have a, a license for being a professional walker is £154 a, a year. There are also rules about walking dogs. And apparently people are saying you shouldn't really be allowed to walk great big dogs, or dogs, great packs of dogs, I mean, in such large numbers. Um, because they are still wild animals, really, inside. Hear that? That's the, that's the same dog I heard earlier. It has heard me again. So I've moved away. I can't want to come back by the wall for a little while. Anyway, so that only happened last week. It, I think it was in Surrey somewhere, some wood and forest that is well known to be used by professional walkers. I mean, I've seen people out, they have vans and they park up and um, they walk their dog. Oh, getting closer, I think. 
we'll keep moving. Yeah, apparently a lot of these dogs were small dogs. I think I'll have a stick as well. What it is, I've also got biscuits in my pocket. Because I'm always wary of them. Dogs act differently when they're out. Especially when they're with others. The pack instinct takes over. I mean, we know that happens. I've seen, I had two German Shepherds once. And they would rip a rabbit to pieces in front of me. And they'd eat it all, head and all. They change, they'd be like wild, like wild animals. So you have to respect the dog and uh, once they get the red mist, I mean, we've seen it happen with Brandy and Maggie. Bra not Brandy really, because Brandy used to have to defend herself. It upset Brandy a lot, um, those fights that they would have. And then they'd lick each other's wounds. Such a weird thing. That they couldn't be let off together. They had to be separated in the end. It was that bad. Uh, and Zara even got bitten and had to go to hospital. Uh, um, trying to separate them and when we went walking with both we used to have to make sure our leads didn't get entangled with the two dogs because they would fight in the street and, and Maggie is still like it. Brandy passed away. Maggie has still got that in her even though she's 15. Um, so this is just a little video about dogs at the moment. I've just picked up this nice little stick actually. So things go on, don't they? And there's been a lot of shootings since Christmas. Christmas Eve, a young 26 year old beautician, she was murdered. And um, of course, all these gates back into people's gardens. I've seen a deer, I've seen deer in these places. But don't go in these places. This is where dogs roam that belong to the owners. They do bolt the gate, that used to be open that one. So we're approaching the fort end. Everything dies back naturally in the winter here, but they did a lot of clearing here and they will be at it again, I expect. Uh, they're supposed to stop during the nesting season, which is coming up. Just have a look in there. Another bit of a garden that belongs to somebody. The big houses just down there have all these. Councillors, I expect, who want to do the clearing. I don't know. I still believe it's a, 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 an agenda to build on there. I still believe that. They use archaeology all the time for excuses. I'll oh, get the archaeologist in. Before you know it, they've built warehouses or... I mean, up here, they, they wouldn't build council houses, would they, for the people? No way. Someone would pay a lot of money to have a house up here with the views. Yeah, that one probably is... You can get in that one. That one ain't got a bolt on it. In theory, you can get in there. Somebody's probably got dogs that uses that. You might look it at night. Yeah, so... We're doing a little walk up here. I know I've got to take Maggie out, but I'm not let, I can't let her dominate when I need to get out for my walking. It's part of my health, you know. This would have been alright for a walk over uphill, actually. A, um, a walk inland. It wouldn't be so cold. When we're near the seafront, it's very cold. Right, I'm going to turn off now, take some photos of the area that has been massively cleared this past year. And there has been trees cut down. They had ropes up to ribbons warning people about the felling. Of course, a lot of the trees might be down through the fierce winds that we've had lately. Um, 
So here we go, I'm just going to take some right images. Right third video on the 16th of January 2000. I'm going to put the stick away now I think. I can pick up another one if necessary. I'm up in the woods, just met a gentleman with a lovely black collie who scared me at first because before I saw the gentleman all I could see was this black head of what looked like a wolf. He was lying down, he was watching me. So I th thought, oh, I'm glad I got the biscuits ready. But he was a collie, he was all right, and he was just waiting for a, this chap. And I had, he lives down there somewhere. Could be a clearer, I don't know. But basically he told me he's, how he's befriended for many years the, the crows and the rooks here. And they actually tap on his window. And the, the mother crow likes cat food, apparently. Um, but the, the baby, she's, she's had several chicks that's also come to his window. Uh, and there, there's, there's three of them. And I said, it's funny because uh, I've got three that always greet me usually. Um, they haven't greeted me so far. But uh, they usually greet me when I'm walking along that side over there. Now it's heavily cleared now everyone. What this used to be quite, was totally wild here. And there were lots of shrubs, holly bushes. I can't remember the names of all the bushes, but um, they've all been pulled up. Or well, everything's been raked. And I got a feeling they might have used herbicides at some point as well to kill the, the uh, creeping ivy stuff, you know, and all that and the thorns. I reckon they did. You could smell it and the leaves had gone black. So I think some sort of toxic chemical had been used in in the summer period. So like I said, you couldn't ever walk here. They, they're, they're still doing it, clearing, 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 non-stop clearing. And they actually want to get all the trees down. And they've not just stopped here. That, there's a group now working deeper into the wood. They want to. They want it to look like brain down and sand bay and um, yeah, sand bay with no trees. And of course, they say there weren't always trees here. Um, they were planted after the sheep moved out. I think they probably have sheep back up here. But the thing is, it's the, it was the year of the tree last year. Trees are very, very important for a lot of reasons. Um, can I see the man again? I see the black dog again now. Oh, he's coming back this way. Right, hold on, I'm just going to put it on hold. Right, just had a very, very interesting conversation with the man with the black dog. I bumped into him again. He said, there's another lady, it looks like you, wandering around with a camera. I said, oh. He said, first of all, I thought it was you, he said. And he thought, wow, you move quick. But, um, you know, he's just telling me about various rocks he's got, of uh, ancient rocks, telling me about how the, there was people here long before the Iron Age, um, and, and saying how the archaeologists deny it all. He's met the archaeologists and the clearers and all that. Um, yeah, it was quite interesting. He's got these special rocks um, that he's found. He was telling me about some secret cave entrances here. Um, so it's all quite good. But of course, I've just been talking to him for 20 minutes. I've got to turn around now and come back, actually. <sighs> so I've got to go to Tesco's yet. Yeah? But it's all very interesting. I don't know what his name is or anything. He sounded like he might have been a military man. He certainly was very knowledgeable and he'd lived in this area for 40 years. And uh, he'd like to walk his dog here and he, he's learnt a lot from a bloke called Snook. I can't remember his first name, apparently he's 80 odd and he knows a lot about the history when the army was here in the wars. Now it'll be much colder as I approach the north side so I'll go quickly over there but all this is cleared and he said oh years ago no one would have been allowed to have done any of this but he's not totally out of favour with it as I'm not but 
that is cold. Hey, look at that, look. Yeah, they've definitely done a lot. I haven't been up here for a while. Um, I don't think I've been up here at this end. I might have been up early January. I'll have to look in the book. I might have been, because I can remember feeding the crows, but I might not have come up this end. It's very cold today. That cold wind, that's the north wind. North, it could be northeasterly. Yeah, it's quite cold today. I have videoed this walk so many times, but it changes each time. Each time I come, it gets bearer and bearer and bearer. There used to be someone who used to put little bits of pottery out about saving the trees and everything. Yeah, I reckon there's caves down this side. I think so. There's Sand Bay, which I haven't been to for ages either. Very cold to go there. I should probably... I need to go there before the end of January, though. I've got so much to do before cows are let out. I've got um, Shipham Road Barrow to do, where I pass through fields which are full of cows most of the year. But I do like those walks, I like to do those. But I deliberately thought just keep to the wood today because it's, it is cold. Of course I got a bit nippy just talking to the man. But um, he's probably about my age I reckon. He, he could be younger, I mean now I'm 70. Um, I can't always tell how old people are now. Sometimes I can't believe I'm 70. It seems weird, actually. When I was 68, it didn't seem too bad. 69, not too bad, but 70? That is, to me, old. But it ain't anymore. That's the thing, it's not. 80 is the new old. And then when I get to 80, it'll be 90. But I really need you to, to come out. I don't know how jumpy or awful this video is, but they're still chopping and cutting. The birds haven't joined me yet, but they never do until I'm in the clear area. It's very, very clear. They'll just spray any, any ivy or anything that springs up, see? So that they've built that up there. Well, they've got to watch out is birds will go in there and make a nest. And they sack things like that up. Lots and lots of cutting and chopping. Lots. Nobody, nobody um, takes any notice anymore. I, I mean, I used to be um, speaking a lot online, you know, basically I do you know. It's too much hassle. I can't upset the council too much because they could affect my benefits in a strange sort of way. My council tax, I pay full council tax. And my money's paying for them to cut these places down. Right then folks, I'm going to turn off again now. We're nearly at the cleared area. Yeah, over and out. <laughs>